Hey everybody, and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we have two mods newly released for January 15th, 2021, that I feel are just that, new and noteworthy. First up we have the Lizard Baylor Combi STB03P. This is a stationary round baler. Comes included with a belt. Basically you put the product in the top here, and then it will be processed through the round baler. And if it is grass, it will be wrapped into a silage bale. Now this has all kinds of possible use cases, but one of the great things about this is the low horsepower rating on the standalone baler. You can drive all of this with a small Fent 310, as this seems to work just fine, with about 110 horsepower. So before we take a look at the mod in action and in the shop, Let's take a look at the mod over at the Giants website. So we can see on the Giants download page, the Lizard Baylor Combo STB03P. Uh, with this particular model, it says you can bail at your farm as opposed to in the fields. We already talked about that a little bit. You can use a wheel loader shovel or something similar to load it from above, or use the adapted Lizard conveyor belt to load it from the ground. Now this says that it is $120,000, needs 120 horsepower, but I'm pretty sure in the store it says it only needs 110 horsepower, and then we have the included conveyor belt. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing in action. What we need to do is we need to get in here and start our tractor. And if we take a look here at the F1 menu, we'll toggle back to the baler. You see we have two options, fold baler or turn it on. So what fold baler does is it basically raises and lowers these support legs. So once you are where you want to start doing your bailing, just lower the support legs and then turn on the baler. So a tractor does need to be connected to this at all times. And then if we toggle one more time, we have now the conveyor belt that has been attached. We want to turn the conveyor belt on. We want to start its engine and then turn it on. And once we do that, we can jump out of the tractor. Now I have conveniently loaded up a bunch of grass in this trailer. Go ahead and tip to the ground. Then we need to toggle back here to our tractor. And you see the fill level. This is filling up a bale. Inject it, trying to wrap it. Then we'll need to hit Y to unload the baler. And you kind of get the gist, right? And at this point, we're just going to keep making silage bales until our our hopper is empty. I'm going to go ahead and get this cleared out of the way, and we'll get this set up with straw and just demonstrate the bailing action with straw. So once again, we're going to force unload. We're about picking up the product. 
putting it into the baler and uh, we are now creating a bale Y to unload that. Now I did download and try an auto unload bale wrapper script from lsfarmingmods.com, but I couldn't get it to work. Couldn't get it to auto unload the bale wrapper. I don't know if I was just not hitting the right keystrokes because the F1 menu was not bringing up the helper text on how to do that. So let's go ahead and shut this down and take a look at it in the shop. Let's go to tools and then balers. We have the STB. 03P, $120,000. You can see right here it says 110 horsepower. We have the choice of foil wrap. White, brown, pink, or green. And that is about it. Once again, it says 110 horsepower here. On the website it says 120. $120,000. $6,120 to lease. And then the belt is over here under belt systems. The STB1B, $8,500. No configuration options on that. And as the image on the website shows, you can pull the conveyor belt because there is a little hitch back here that you can attach the conveyor belt to and then pull the whole combination back to the sh to the farm from your shop or pretty much wherever you want to set this up and do your bailing. You guys, that is the STB03P. The next new and noteworthy mod that we're going to take a look at is over here and it's not really a mod that we can physically show because it is more of a script mod, and that is the Loader Vehicles AI mod. So let's go ahead and take a look at that over at the Giants Mod Hub. So here we have the download page for the Loader Vehicles AI mod. It says, with this mod, helpers will be able to drive your loader vehicles. Just place it straight in front of the heap and press H. You want to unload material on the ground, press Control i before you hire the helper. The helper will keep driving forward until he no longer finds anything left to load. See some of the pictures here using the Ropa loader for sugar beets. Now we're not going to use the Ropa loader on sugar beets. We're going to use another in-game Ropa loader. All right, so here we have the Ropa mouse. If we go here to vehicles and then miscellaneous, we have the Ropa Nara Ro mouse. And this thing is basically capable of picking up all kinds of fill types. You see here it's going to pick up all of our grains, including seed, fertilizer, silage, lime in this case, wood chips, um, total mixed rations, forage, all kinds of stuff. So here we have 300,000 liters of lime all piled up. And we're going to use this particular vehicle to load our lime up into our Tatra. So to get this to work, pretty straightforward. We just line it up. Then we hit higher helper. H. And we jump out. Go ahead and get into our Tatra and I'll pull forward. And then we'll see a rope of mouse here. 
drive forward and continue to pick up product as it runs out. So without this mod, you cannot hire a helper to do this for you. Now I know this is not a piece of machinery I typically use in my gameplay, but others may use this quite regularly, or you may use it a bit more frequently now that we have the capability of hiring a helper to do this pickup. Now the vehicles that this works with are of course the Nara, the Nala Row Mouse, right here under miscellaneous, as well as the Moss 5, Ropa, and the Terra Felis 3 under Beat Technology. It's not the speediest thing in the world, but is doing exactly what the uh, what the mod said. Go ahead and empty that and let it just continue to fill on up. All right, while that's running, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about another mod that I would say is Kind of, kind of in today's honorable mention. I didn't want to profile three mods. I want to kind of keep it to two for the new and noteworthy. Two or one. So the honorable mention for today goes to the Real Wood Harvester mod. So with this mod, tree harvesters uh, basically no longer automatically cut the limbs and the logs at the same time. And what it does now is it allows you to convert it over to a more realistic mode where the harvester first delimbs the entire tree and then comes back and cuts it. And see here that two new keys for manually processing, delimbing the tree forward and backward, new key for changing cut length down, uh, current cut length of remaining tree to be cut is displayed in the F1 menu. No automatically cut in auto deem low mode. You need to press cut key. Uh, and basically you can generate wood chips as you are delimbing. So that's pretty cool. So basically this makes the act of running this tree harvester. Let's go ahead and show the video. A little bit more realistic. Of course, how this works in the game by default is basically it will delim the entire tree. This allows you to go forward and back. I thought I'd use this kind of as a honorable mention for today's new and noteworthy video. Oh, looks like we missed a couple branches. We changed the uh, the percentage of the delimbing down from 100%. So now we kind of got to work our way back to get all the branches cleared off. You see a small pile of wood chips is now accumulating down here. Here. Now he's not going to put in more wood chips. And there you go. So guys, that is going to do us for today's new and noteworthy mods for January 15th, 2021. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the two mods that we profiled here today? And again, we are always looking for new and noteworthy mods to profile in this video series. Now, the only few requirements that we have are one, it needs to be a newly released mod, not a updated mod or a mod that's been out for a period of time. And, well, it needs to stand up and above kind of the, the general noise 
that is all of the mods released nowadays. So it's really got to stand out as a unique mod that truly does change the way we play the game. So until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.